be live in 20 seconds here or so. Teach you how to dial in some shots, show you how it works on some, uh, some nice Chiato grinders. So, once, once we're confirmed. Are you ready? Okay. Hey guys, uh, welcome to Whole Latte Love. I'm Mark, I have Todd with me. Uh, we're going to show you how to dial in shots on some Chiato grinders here. Some of their entry level prosumer grade ones, right? Yep. We're also, uh, we'll be able to take your questions and respond to you live. So, we do have Sarah here with us. Um, Sarah will relay the questions. She'll ask the questions for you as you uh, write them in. And we'll take care of any of those. So if you have them, please get those and collect them. We'll do it. Um, so we were going we're gonna to go through, though, and how to dial in shots. Right, Todd? And yeah. That's what let's, what's it all about, really, if, for people who aren't familiar with dialing in a shot? Okay. People that have been doing this for a long time will probably understand it. But some of the new pe people may not understand it. Even if you've had a machine for a while and you, your, your shots are inconsistent, Dialing in your shots will help you out. Really what it's all about is setting your grind setting so it's right, so you get consistent flow through the coffee. So we get about two ounces in roughly 25 seconds with the same amount of ground coffee every time. And I personally, on the machines I'm using, I like to use around 16, maybe 17 grams. And just, just so you know, so like when you're making espresso, it's, it's about the coffee first, kind of really, right? Oh, big time. Well, if you have good coffee, you're not going anywhere. But the grind size, right? It's so critical, and we're going to show you just how a tiny little difference in grind size can make a really big difference in an extraction. So it's coffee, grind, then your machine. We do have a couple machines here. We'll get more on those. We're going to use the ECM over here first, but we do have a Gaja Classic. Uh, really, it's, it's our favorite entry-level machine. It's built like a machine. You see a lot of machines down this price range that are more of an appliance. This is a machine. Yeah, I'd say right? you can't get anything better at that price point. Yeah, and this is one you can start without a grinder too if you, if you want to. You can use pre-ground, it's set up, comes like that. We won't get too deep into that. Then we have the ECM Synchronica. This is, tell us about the ECM Synchronica. This is one of our oh, favorite Lord. machines. Yeah. Two boiler PID machine, top of the line. What's beautiful about this machine, other than you can brew and steam at the same time, is that you, you can control the brew temperature. So if you find that you want to change the temperature on your coffee for some reasons. It'll brew a little hotter, a little cooler, and you can do that. So different yeah. roasters sometimes will recommend what temperature to brew at. And in these cafes, they can do that. Not all cafes, but the ones with the best machines. So you can do that at home with this machine. So you may find 200 degrees is pretty good, but 198 is better. You can do that. Yeah, like sometimes they'll say like a lighter roast coffee, brew it a little hotter, darker roast, brew a little cooler, yeah. but we won't get real deep into that. So let's get right into it and let's talk about dialing in grind. So you kind of had, you're going to kind of show the difference in what a little change in grind size would make, right? Sure. So we'll brew with the grind size we have now and then we'll make an adjustment and you can see how that changes the flow. Right. Remember, we're going to, our goal is to get two ounces in about 25 seconds with 16 or 17 grams of coffee. I'm going to go for 16 with these shots. Okay. Okay. All right. So we're going to use uh, the Chiato, right? We've yeah. got. Well, let's go. Let's yeah, the go players. through the grinders a little bit here. Here's, here's yeah. the players we have here today: the E6X by Chiato, the E5P. Well, E6X Doser grinder pulls mm -hmm. the handle that dispenses the coffee. Like that. Like you, if you go to the cafes, you probably used to hear that click, click, click a lot. Yep. E5P, which you push and hold. So a totally manual yep. grinder. No programming. And then this over here, the E6P, where you can program it, and then you push a button. You can just let go if you want, right? Yeah. And it just does its thing. Okay. The grind, when you get the set amount of time, it stops. And nice distribution on this, too. Look at the grind. These Beautiful. grinds do a really nice job, these grinders. Yeah, these are, these are you know, like the entry level to a prosumer grade sort of grinder. Chiato makes much more expensive grinders than this, but... These using the same sort of technology. Yeah, these will handle any prosumer machine you got out there. Okay. So you're, and you're going to weigh. I'm going to weigh the coffee. I'm using this because if I put this on here, it'll, it's go, it'll, go, yeah, it'll yeah. go tippy canoe on me. So <laughs> put this up here, grab a scale, hit tear, so it's zero tear. grams. Okay. And then we'll, uh, we'll grind into this. So you worked a little bit before with it. We set them up a little bit. but we're, So we're going to like pull a shot and then... Change the grind size a little bit and see how that affects the time. Okay, so we got 16 grams first shot. 
So well, you hit right at 16 grams? Yeah. Well, if you don't, you can tell by the mom how much coffee yeah. it has in it. Once you get, do it a few times. Yeah. Okay, level it off a little bit. You see, you got a nice little tamp station there. Yeah. yeah, nice little rocket tamp station. And you try and tamp it evenly. Sometimes I get yelled at on the internet. People say I'm crooked, but I'm do, I do what I can. <laughs> then we'll put okay. the handle in the machine. We'll grab a shot glass. This one has measurements on it. Nice little railway shot glass. Now we have a shot timer over here on this machine, mm -hmm. so we can t tell how long it takes. Now we have so much crema that comes out with this coffee, which is a coffee mio actually, mio doro, nice coffee. I've been running the top of the crema about two and a half ounces. Yeah, now it's I, always, always a question. Where do you actually, if you're measuring volume, you know, what do you go to? And where do you start your, your timing? Do you, you start when the, the first drip or do you start when you raise the lever up to brew? So 25 <laughs> seconds, right around two and a quarter ounces at the top of the It does crema. say 26 back there. Just Does? Yeah. Sorry. Okay, 26 <laughs> seconds. One, what's one second between friends? I think that was a digital delay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, so 26 seconds, and now we're going to change the grind size a little bit and see what happens, right? Mm -hmm. Now we're so. going to change it. Can you see these uh, lines here? Yeah. Uh, not yeah. Enough light, but yeah. We're going to change it one setting. I'm gonna, whoops. I'm going to go finer. So... One full one of those. And we're going to guess it's going to be about 20 seconds slower. Now, will you purge any coffee out yep. of there? Yeah. Okay. Got to grind enough coffee to make sure I have the new grind setting coming out. Okay. Just kind of dump that. Okay. okay. Recheck my scale. That's good. So you use, so you're going to, you want to keep that 16 grams the same? I'm going to, yep, I'm going to do that. Fifteen. What's nice about these grinders, you can just bump it. Just get a little bit more. Nice. Yeah, there are sixteen grams. Okay. So we had twenty-six seconds last time. Yep. And I make a prediction. What's about, your prediction? About forty-six seconds. Forty-six. Okay. So one notch finer, you're going to go from twenty-six to forty-six. I like making predictions. Live. You're living on the edge, live. buddy. You are living on the edge. Go big or go home, baby. Okay. Uh oh, going faster than I thought. <laughs> There's just more crema, that's it, right? Well, we're almost exactly where we were at. <laughs> so, I predict that I didn't get enough coffee cleared out of there. Okay. But we're going to try it try again. Try it again. Yeah. This is live. And you know, I mean, espresso is really kind of a game of variables, right? I mean, it's, you got your coffee weight that you're using to brew with, you get your dose that you're gonna use. Okay, just about there. And what's your feeling, just while we're doing this, what's your feeling about tamp pressure? I noticed you're using an espro calibrated yeah, tamper okay. there. Um, to be consistent. Just be consistent. The actual pressure used, not a big... Not a big deal. Just, some people say 30 pounds, which is pretty good. I mean, that was what you always heard years ago. It seems like maybe that's... I think you're right. Now that looks... That'll be a little Looks slower. like it's starting slower. So yeah, you're 18 and one ounce. This is the exciting part. Yeah. The ooh and ah over the crema. But it is, it is a nice, it is a nice looking shot. Nice color to the crema. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, it's so about, about 38 seconds. So 38. about 12 seconds or so faster. Mm -hmm. Well, it gives you an idea. Right, okay. All right. So let's, so the process really is, is, you know, initially you can use some time to kind of dial in the shot and you're just adjusting your grind size and trying to keep everything else exactly the same as uh -huh. you do that, right? Yep. So what we found, I'm going to get this back to where it was. I'm going to mm -hmm. go back to go one line coarser. Mm -hmm. We'll get some coffee out of here. Mm -hmm. 
And what we found with this, with this grinder, with this coffee, about eight seconds will give you your 16 grams, so about two grams per second. And these, these Chiatos, again, we've got the E6X, that's the doser over here, the E5P, which you're using right now, and then the E6P, which is the timer version of that that's right next door on the right. Yep. So look how nicely it distributes the coffee. I know I said that before, but that's, that's really important. How it, and you, when you're saying distributes, how it falls into the falls, center of the yeah, port filter. It doesn't fall off the side. It fits in here real nice. It drops in good. And the grind quality. I don't see any clumping in there at all. Yeah, none whatsoever. Nice and fluffy. Um, all these grinders are 300 watt motors, uh, 63 millimeter, 64 millimeter burrs, flat burrs, stainless. Mm -hmm. I don't have another shot glass ready, but okay. that's okay, but I think we get the idea here. Um, there we go. Now, so we have, we have the Gaja Classic over here as well. Would, how would yeah. you go about dialing in for that? I mean, would you just start with the exact same grind that you're using yeah. and see, where, see what you get? Classic would work the same way. In fact, we'll pull a shot on it with the same grind that we use for this. Okay. And we'll use a timer to, to check it. So you see, we set it back down to where we were at and we're very close. close. Yeah. You know, within a second of where our shot timing was. So when you right. adjust these grinders, they're very accurate. So when you go between uh, one of these little notches, you're going to be a pretty consistent on the, the amount of coffee this, uh, that comes out, or the, uh, the, the shot timing. Okay. So no big movements, just little movements. And that's, and that's with this particular, you know, different coffees might react a little bit differently? Yeah. So They all have different moisture levels inside. Okay. Uh, different roast levels. So we're going to take the same grind and pull a shot on the classic? On the classic. Go classic, go. And then I know that we still have that first shot, right? So I'd, I'd like to taste them after the fact. Sounds good. I mean, that one's been sitting there for a little while. Yes, That's okay, uh, though. Yeah, we'll get you a freshie. How about that? Okay, we're at 17 grams on that. We'll get it down to 16, 15. Bump. Right there. Yeah, that's a crooked tamp. <laughs> okay. Now for the timing of this one, I'm going to have to use my uh, you got timer, a timer on, on there. Our scale. Okay. This is a nice little Hario scale. Yeah. You use these for uh, okay. and pour over burn. Go. We'll get right in there and take a look at this shot coming out. Eight seconds. 10, 15 seconds, 20 seconds, that was me making the push oh. button, yep. 25 seconds there. Okay, and just about the, just about the same volume. Yeah, you can, you can have that one yeah. if you like. I mean, <laughs> and now, I'll taste this one, let's see. Are you going to, uh, will you pull another one on the Synchronica? So we can uh, sure. kind of get a... Your wish is my command. Feel for how they're different. Nope, oh, yep, you borrow that. So tell them a little, why don't you tell a little about the coffee that we're using today. Yeah, we're going to take a question in just a second, but we are using, um, it's Coffee Mio. Uh, it's a coffee that we're bringing in from Australia, some, from friends in Australia. Uh, if you've been to Melbourne, you may have had this uh, in a cafe there. Very popular uh, in, in Australia. We airship it in, um, so we get it fresh. Um, we've had it for, what, about a month now? Mm -hmm. And we're getting a lot of positive feedback on this coffee. So if you want to give something a try, give that a try. Um, while we're getting this other shot ready. Oh, a couple things i got to tell you about. First of all, subscribe to our channel, you know, so you can get, get these things. And also, we do have some pretty cool uh, offers going on right, no, right now. All of it's down in the description for the video. You can enter a contest to win $500 here. Um, if you buy products from us, anything, any purchase over $50, you're going to get free shipping. Um, you always, we have a latte rewards program, so any purchase you make, you get 2% of that back for future purchases. Um, 
for most all the products we sell, we have this great support wiki that's linked on our website where we have videos and written descriptions and instructions, all kinds of stuff. And of course, we have coffee experts that can talk to you by phone or by chat if you prefer to do that during you know, usual business hours here on the East Coast um, and give you support if you need you know, some advice on a machine or technique or you know, if you have something after the sale you want to talk about, they're always here ready to help you. So, so this is our other there's, shot. There's so other shot. Let me give that a try. And I, I like to stir them. I live dangerous and do it with my finger. <laughs> I like to yeah, lick the crema off. Of people <laughs> like to stir the coffee, stir the crema yeah. in. So this is the classic shot. Uh-oh. He's thinking. You know, the, the one from the classic is just, honestly, is just a hair sweeter to me. Really? Just a hair sweeter. You're not supposed to say that. <laughs> this is sell this machine. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That, oh, the ECM. No, that, this, is, no I, this was from the ECM. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this was, I no, got him back. Oh, it is. So you did get it. It is a hair sweeter. Like that, so it's a hair sweeter. Well, fine. there's a heck of a lot more crema still on this one. So. Yeah. yeah, it's a fresher one, too. <laughs> but, so. but we did have a question, so let's get to Sarah. Sarah. Yes, we have um, a couple questions, actually. Okay. So the first one from uh, Yet Not Dead. They oh, were good, um, good. <laughs> we like it. They were wondering, um, how is the grind retention um, with the Chiados? Okay, so on these, uh, we have done testing with these. Um, again, these are Chiados uh, entry-level prosumers. So these um, are, you know, you get into that prosumer level, what you get in a cafe sort of grinder. In fact, you know, NSF rated, I don't think they, on, on the... Uh, E5X, that's an NSF rated grinder. The other two, I don't think they actually, they would be the same because they're essentially the same internally. But mm -hmm. the grind retention, to get to the question, these are not low retention grinders. Um, I've measured, you know, from in the five to six gram area. So that's what I do when I measure that is I totally clean the grinders out, put 18 grams in the top, grind it through, and see how much comes out. And it's usually, we're usually putting out about 13 grams. Now it's going to depend on your grind size, the humidity, and how it holds things back. But again, they're, they're not really low retention grinders. Yeah. And that's you know, kind of when we were doing the shots, when you change grind size, you want to grind a little yeah. bit out. So it's pretty yeah. standard. Yeah, but that's pretty standard in this type of grinder. Now, if you get into some of the higher end Giatos with the bigger burrs, like the E37s, um, especially like the S and the T, those are, I would call those low retention grinders. They're, I always measure those well under a gram, usually about half a gram of coffee left in, in those. Mm -hmm. So, and do we have another one? Yes, we do. Okay. Um, Ron is wondering how accurate is the timed dosing on the E6P? On the E6P. Well, why don't you do a demo? <laughs> yeah, let's, let's do a demo and find out. We, I mean, I did measure it, and I usually measure it in about the 0.2 to 0.3 grams. So, so let's pull a couple and see how it works out. Or grind a couple. Okay, so... Extra tear. And you're gonna you're gonna do a double. Do a double. And yep. just so you know, these were about two grams per second uh -huh. in the rate. I found them to be very close. Yeah. Gonna waste some this, good coffee this, this here. This ain't the most accurate scale, but yeah, pretty it good. doesn't do tenths of grams, which is too bad. But so it's like sixteen grams. Sixteen grams on that one. And you you like to. Oh, you really clean the porta filter out. Clean. And we'll do the second one and we'll see where we are. Is that 17? Boy, I wish we had the tenths. It could be 16.9 yeah. or 17.1. We'll do another one. That was clean at the time. Yeah. Sixteen. Sixteen. So it's it's pretty darn good. Yeah. Pretty darn good. Okay. So yeah, I, I, I have measured them with uh, another scale. I actually have the scale here if we want to go there. If you can find it. Yeah. Yeah. Can you carry the show for a sec? I'll grab it. Sure. Okay. I <laughs> good. I want to talk about the E6X while we're at it. <laughs> um, talk about doser grinders. It's funny. You go you used to go to the cafes and you always seen doser style grinders where they pull the handle to dispense the coffee. 
That was standard thing. You'd hear that click, 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 click. Now everybody's, all these cafes are going for the doseless, so they grind fresh right into the porta filters. But we still have the E6X, which is still a really nice grinder. Same internals as the rest of these. And I thought it'd be kind of fun to show you how they, how they work. The, unfortunately, Mark, you had any luck there, Mark? Yep. I got yeah. it. Because I'm going to need your close-up camera for this. Oh, oh, here I come, here I okay. come. Okay. But the key thing, I'll talk for a while. The key thing about this is that when you pull the doser on this grinder here, it drops the coffee straight in. If you have like a Mazer grinder, nothing against Mazer, great, yep. great grinders, it shoots the coffee off to the side. And you ever watch them in the cafes, they're moving the porta filter all around to make it so it drops in right. With this one, if you have your porta, if your uh, doser chamber is full, you just pull the handle. You're gonna, well, let's, let's, let's measure. I'm predicting again. You're predicting. We're gonna have 16 grams when I get done with this, okay? Tear it out, three pulls. One, two, three. Drops pretty much straight in. Mm -hmm. And we got 17 grams. 17. Well, real close. Mm -hmm. We'll do it one more time. One, two, three. It does. I mean, it doesn't leave a mess. I'm going to show and it here. 16 grams. So if we had a better scale, maybe we'd know for sure. But still, pretty darn good. Now, if the reason you might want a doser grinder is if for some reason you're going to have people coming over and you're going to do a lot of coffees, you don't want to wait, uh, they work great for that. Um, yeah, these only take eight seconds to grind, but you may not want to deal with it. You may, may want to focus on your guests. Another thing about doser grinders that you can do, let's say this not full, you can turn the grinder on and start pulling the handle to dispense the coffee while you're doing it, and then turn it off. And you can get pretty close to the right amount. And then and you can also do the... If you have <laughs> a little extra coffee, you don't have to waste it. You just you put it back in there and mm -hmm. pull it for the next one. So. I'm not totally against doser grinders. I actually still like them. I do personally prefer these for the use that I'm doing. Mm -hmm. But uh, both do a good job. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay, so do we re you want to you get down to the tenths? If you want to. Yeah, let's give it a shot because this this will go down to tenths. Oh, how are we going to balance this thing? Um, you know what? Can you grab? There's a little white cup over there. Can you grab me the white the white cup way over by the moaning syrups there? I hope you guys are interested in this. Yeah. No, this is cool. a lot of time on it. <laughs> <laughs> just back over right right there's a whole stack of them right by the power outlet to the left of the power outlet there you go so yeah we're, I, I really want to see because I do consistently measure these at you know 0 0.2 0 0.3 grams accuracy so if you grind I'll tear okay. this I get to push the button you get to push the button I get to push the button and we'll come over and take a look <laughs> We'll grind right into that cup and just zeroed it out and we'll see what we get here. Seventeen point oh six. Okay. First one. Yeah. Get every little speck of dust out of there. Sixteen point eight one. So that's yeah, that's you know like point two to point three there. Uh -huh. We'll do one a third more one just for the fun of it. I'm predicting this will be a little bit less. You think? I think. Let's see. Okay. Nope. Seventeen point two. Seventeen point two. Okay. So we're right in that point two to point four grams and. When you, when you get down to figuring how much, you know, what percentage of a shot that is, it's I, way I, it's below 5% of, it's, a, of it's, the total shot. It's right? pretty close. So it's, they're very, very consistent. That's one thing we like about those. Um, the, other, the other thing, you know, that I like about the Chiatas, I don't know if you talked about it while I was away, but when you open these up, the grinding chambers are fairly well sealed from the threads that, you know, yes. do that adjustment. So you don't... A lot of grinders that aren't very well sealed, I'm not going to mention any names, but um, you get up, the coffee and oils get up in there and they become very, very hard to adjust. Yeah, so if you take apart the cleaner, you really got to be careful to uh, get all the coffee out of the threads because they thread like they screw in. Yeah, so, so they're really nice that way. Um, but let's just recap the, the grinders here. So it's the 
E6X. E6X, the doser. E5P. The E5P. Which is already works with this by pushing this here to grind. Oh, and yeah, one thing to be aware of with that one, if you like using the bottomless porta filters, you got to like have something else to push at because you yep. don't have the stuff to push the little little button right, okay. right here. And then yeah. the E6P, and I kind of want to get into this one a little bit since we're here. Yeah. Now, you have a single shot button and a double shot button. So if you put the double shot, it'll grind the time we have. If you want to stop it, you can stop it any time. Yeah. Let's say you, you stopped it too early, but you don't want to grind it at all. You can hit both buttons and bump it or use it as a manual. So, so as long as you hold those two down. Yep. Okay. That'll work. And to adjust the grind size, what you do is, you, or grind time, push and hold this button till that uh, light will start to blink. If you want to raise the time, you push this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That'll give you one full second longer. So it's tenth of a second increments on that. Right. Okay. So let's make a prediction how much coffee we're going to get out now. Another Ooh, second. Ooh, another about second. Two grams. two grams a second. So you're going to get about, what, 18? 18, about 19, 19? Okay. Let's try it. We'll see what happens. Dun, dun, dun. And this is also hands-free on the E6P, so you can just, you know, hang the porta filter there. That bracket is adjustable, so you can fit different size porta filters. Look at that pile right up the middle. Yeah. And the answer is 21 grams. 21 okay. grams. We're off okay. by a bit. <laughs> but other things to keep in mind, it's going to... I mean, but you saw how that works. So right, you can right. you, you can adjust it any way you want to get what you need. You know, add little bits, little bits of time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, can I talk about these machines for a minute? Yeah, yeah. The Classic, because I really I'm a huge, huge fan of the Classic. If you don't want to spend a boatload of money if you're making espresso, I want to get in that just a touch. It's it really is like probably the best choice machine if yeah. you're just starting out. Both these machines have commercial chrome plated brass. Porta filters, 58 millimeters in diameter, both of them. Filter basket, that's the same. In fact, this maybe we'll use the same filter baskets on these, but mm -hmm. they work. It's just the same. They hold the heat, mm -hmm. and you have the same water distribution over the top, same depth of coffee puck that you're brewing through. So the extractions are very similar. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to share. So if you need a, a good, op you know, opening point uh, machine, this is it. If yeah. you look up here at the shower screen, I don't know if you can see it, mm -hmm. it's pretty wide in diameter just like it is over here on this E61 group. Now this, obviously the E61 has much better, I don't know, obviously, but just so you know, it has yeah. much better stability. But these aren't bad because the boiler is mounted right over the top of the brew group. So it's keeping everything hot. And, yep. and other, other things to know about the Classic, it does have a three-way solenoid valve, a lot of entry-level machines. Oh yeah. So you can demo that. Okay, let me show you that. Um, well, you yeah. A little easier sometimes to do that, huh? A lot of the entry-level machines um, do not have a three-way solenoid valve, so you're going to get soupy pucks that come out of them. Yep, and so I'm going to pull this chrome tube off so you can see. See it's what make happens? a little bit of a mess, but that's okay. All right, you're a messy guy. So this, this chrome tube leads water from the three-way solenoid valve down into the drip tray. Mm -hmm. So when you're done brewing, the valve opens up, lets the water come, whoops, mm -hmm. comes off the top of the coffee through this valve and down into here. That does a few things. One, like Mark said, it gives you a nice dry puck. The other thing, what it does, it actually um, helps with maintenance. Okay, ready? Yep. There it goes. So if you didn't have a three-way solenoid valve, that water would still be on top of the coffee. So let's see what the, yeah, pull the porta filter off there. Because you get into like a pressurized basket uh, brewing system, mm -hmm. you get a much drier puck out of this machine than you would out of that. Yep. You'll just have a, a soupy mess. So, so there's out, kind of the, like that. all in one, one nice chunk. You don't have to like... <laughs> You know, some of, some of the other machines that don't have that, um, you know, I'm using a spoon or my finger and sometimes burning right. myself to get the coffee right. out of there, the or running it under the yeah, sink. So, so if the yeah. machine doesn't have a three-way solenoid valve, okay, what we're going to have then is a, what we call a group valve assembly. And on the group valve assembly, that's a little spring loader valve up inside mm -hmm. that holds the water into the boiler. And it can pick up minerals on that over time because so what it works is the pump goes on, pressure builds up, pushes it open. If minerals build up on that over time, they'll start to leak and drip. So you may have an espresso machine right now that's dripping water through there. That's and that's why. That, yeah. That's why. And a, a couple things, because I talked to a lot of people over in Europe about these machines, and apparently the classics over there no longer have the three-way solenoid valve. Yeah. 
Okay. Or so I've been told. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I don't have yeah. those machines, but all of them here in the U.S. Yeah. do have that. I'm sorry, guys, if the, you're in Europe and yeah. that's the case. They didn't change our classic. We, yeah. keep, we got to keep the older one. Um, and also with our classic, they do come, like I, I mentioned this right at the top, but if you don't want to start with a grinder, I really suggest you do. You get much better espresso. But if you don't want to start with a grinder, the, one, the classics that we ship, I don't know if they do this in Europe or not, but they come with pressurized filter baskets so you can use either ESE pods or pre-ground coffee. So you don't necessarily have to start with a grinder, but then when you, you know, taste really good yeah. shots, you'll want to go there and you can, you can go there because yeah. it can work both ways. So, yeah. That's good. Yeah. Dialing, dialing your shots, I want to mention one other thing, just kind of get you going in the right direction. When you first get your grinder, don't worry about times, that you, how long the grinder operates. Just adjust your grinder so you get your 16 grams and you get your shot timing right. Then you can start, then you can maybe actually um, time how long it takes to get that amount of coffee and then start setting the timer. Yeah, once, once you're confident, kind of get into it a little bit. Because uh, coffee can be expensive and you don't yeah. want to waste it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We have a lot of coffee here, so we do, as you can see, unfortunately, we do waste a little bit. <laughs> So I do, I do want to mention again, um, you know, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Um, enter that, you know, there's down in the description here, there's instructions how you can enter to win $500 um, towards some purchases at um, Whole Latte Love. Uh, of course, we have our Latte Rewards Program, which is going to get you 2% um, to use on future purchases. So you make a purchase, you get 2% of that price to use in the future. Um, and we've got live US-based, or actually, right across behind the other wall from me here. Guys on the phone, a staff of guys are experts. Um, a lot of them are baristas, um, so they can really help you out before, during, after a sale if you have questions or want to know where to go. And my, and my office is right next to them. Yeah. So at any time they get some real tough questions, they'll be coming to see me and I'll be able to help you out also. Yeah, because you, you're, you're like the machine. You know these things inside and do, out like nobody else. I've been doing this else. 18 years so and working with all these machines. So I, I I can help. You, you know what you're talking about. Help. Yeah. So, um, so I guess do we have if we don't have any more questions or do we? We do have. Oh, okay. Sorry, we do have one question. Um, they weren't sure if it was fair to ask ask in this session. <laughs> Why not? Um, they Ron wanted to know um, how does that compare to the Fioranzato F4? I can answer that one. You can answer that one. You yeah. That? Okay. I have no idea. <laughs> I, sorry, but I have not used That's the grinder, one. so I, I can't say. Yeah. How, how do you do? I, I, I think you did well. I mean, I, I can make some comparisons to other, other grinders, uh, but I, I do really like the Chiatos because you know what they've done is they're a more recent design because a lot of the grinders out there, some of the older uh, ones, they haven't changed much over the years. They're, they do a darn fine job, and there's, you know, there's no reason, but yeah. what I find with these is they're just, you know, if you're going to go, especially if you're going to go inside, they're they're a lot easier to get inside and get back together. You know, they, it, it keeps the coffee out of the threads. The adjustment's a lot easier. Um, yeah. So that, that's what I find. Okay. But uh, We're going to wrap this up? Okay. Okay. So, again, you know, please subscribe. We'll, we're going to be doing more of this. I know on Friday at 3 o'clock, we're going to have uh, uh, Sapphire. She goes by the Rogue Barista on Instagram with us. She's really, really good at pouring latte art. We're going to have her here with, if you're just getting into frothing, frothing tips. And if you want to know latte art, some tips for that. She knows so much about it. We did a thing where she took us through all these different types of milks and how much just the, the, the brand of milk you're using can make a big difference. And just a quick reminder, you know, if you buy something from us, free shipping, over 50 bucks. The latte rewards, we've got all the support. We've got people that you can call before, during, and after if you need some assistance, you know, deciding what you want to get, you want some expert advice, we've got that. So, uh, yeah, and just so you know, Sapphire's been working on some great machines. We'll have the uh, La Marzocca GS3, yep. the Koenig uh, grinders. We'll have uh, probably E37S along with a some other really nice uh We pull nice out some big machines. guns for, yeah. for Sapphire. So uh, th thanks so much. Actually, we'll what? pull out a classic too. Huh? We, yeah, well, we do. I have video of her. Yeah, she poured latte art, one. frothing on a classic. Yeah. You know, we brought a classic down to uh, the cafe she was working in, and yeah. first time frothing on it, she was pouring latte art with it. So that's pretty cool. But anyways, for now, Todd, anything else? I got it. I'm okay. done. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Um, again, subscribe. Check us out Friday at 3 if you're into the latte art, and we'll see you then.